Hi all, welcome to Andrea M. D'Souza's Kitchen. Today's special is something that is everyone's favorite and that is the prawn pulao which is Goan styled. Now I know how much all of us love prawns and prawn pulao is a mouth watering dish which you don't need any effort at all. This recipe is a very quick and easy recipe. If you want, later I will also put the green masala recipe and the other ground masala recipes for prawn pulao. But right now, try out this easy recipe and let me know how it turns out. Here are my ingredients for my prawn biryani. I have around 12 to 15 prawns, which I have deveined. Make sure you devein and clean the prawns well. And also I have put a little bit of haldi, around quarter teaspoon and around half a teaspoon of salt. Salt is according to your taste, so you can decide accordingly. I have over here some onions that are frying along with two sage patta. Now these are two medium sized onions, two sage patta, around half a teaspoon of shajira, around three lavang, two inches of cinnamon that I'm going to fry until the onions caramelize well. And I just put around three tablespoons of oil to fry these onions. Now while this is happening, these are my other ingredients. I have tomatoes, two tomatoes which I have sliced, a handful of pudina, say around half a cup or one katori of pudina which I have chopped, again half a cup or one katori of coriander leaves which I have chopped, around three fourth of a lime, this is little more than half. This are green chilies, I have taken five green chilies which I have slit. Now depending upon the spice level you can reduce these green chilies and I have got one katori of curds. So these are some of the masalas I will use. When I'm using them, I will let you know how much I'm using. And getting back here to my onions. Okay, they'll caramelize. They look good. So I'm going to add around a tablespoon of the ginger garlic paste. Let it fry for a second. It smells extremely good when you add the ginger garlic paste. Now that my onions are done, my ginger garlic paste is added, I'm going to add these tomatoes. Let them soften a bit. When they have become nice and mushy like this, I'm going to add my prawns. With a light hand, just mix it. And I'm going to cover it and let it cook for around 3 to 4 minutes. Okay, 5 minutes are up and see how good our prawns look and they are smelling even better. This is without masala. So since there is not much masala, you are actually getting the smell of the prawns rather than the masala. So this is done. So now I'm just going to add a few powdered masalas, not much. A little more haldi powder. See, so little around less than quarter of a spoon. I'm adding some chilli powder now. I'm going to add around two teaspoons of chilli powder because I like it spicy. But you can reduce the spice level according to what you want. I will also add some coriander powder. Around a half a spoon. Not much. And what I'm going to do after this is little bit of jeera. Not much. Little bit. Just a pinch. I am not adding more salt right now because I have already added salt with the prawns. But for those of you who like more salt and you want more salt with your rice, then you can add it at this point of time. Again, a very light mix and let it fry a little until the raw smell of the masalas go away. Wow, this is smelling good. Now, I am also going to add my pudina leaves, my coriander leaves and my green chilies. Some people like to add the green chilies earlier and fry them a bit. If you want to do that, you can do that also. Give it a light mix. Looks good already, doesn't it? So here it is in the process of being made. Looks good, doesn't it? 
with time i'm going to squeeze the lime give it a little mix and add the curds now once you add the curds make sure you mix it lightly because we don't want the curds to tear or anything like that or other curd okay little bit let it mix now what i'm going to do is i'm going to close it again just for 2 minutes and let it cook 2 minutes are up make sure you use a light hand we don't want to break our prawns or overcook them but see how appetizing it looks even right now i'm going to add a soup cube that i have now this is completely optional you can use whatever soup cube you have in the house if you don't have it then you can do without it the pulao tastes good even otherwise so it's okay even if you don't add the cube i'm also going to be adding my rice now this is 2 cups of rice which i have washed and soaked for around 15 20 minutes now what i'm going to do is for the 2 cups of rice that i add i'm going to add a little more than double the amount of water so if i have added 2 cups rice i will not only add 4 now normally we add 4 cups of water if we are just cooking plain rice but since we also have the prawns and onions and other things i will have to add at least 5 cups of water so the ratio for 1 cup of rice is around 2 and a half cups of water if you are making any pulao or some something like this so here are our 5 cups of water mix it all well make sure nothing sticks to the bottom make sure everything is mixed properly again with a light hand and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover it and increase the flame and let it come to a boil now one very important thing is you need to be right here when it is coming to a boil you don't want it falling down so you need to stand right here and keep a look on it when it is coming to a boil and not let it spill over and once it comes to a boil i will reduce the flame open the cover a little bit and let it cook for a while until it is done looks like it's coming to a boil here it is so right now i'm going to lower the flame give it a stir and then i'm going to cover it partially and let it cook on a low flame don't close it completely otherwise it will overflow let's check wow it's nearly ready now so little bit of water left to dry can you see this looks lovely so what i'm going to do is i'll just let it be for a minute not very long because i don't want it to burn or any such thing and then i'm going to switch off the flame and let it settle for 5 minutes before i start serving it's very important that whenever you make something like this you let it settle before you actually start serving so see how lovely it is i think it's time now i'll switch off the flame and i'm going to close it and keep it aside there i am it is settled for around 5 to 6 minutes so let's go and serve amazing smell wow see this and just look at this rice so perfectly cooked So I know you will surely enjoy this prawn pulao. So try it out and share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll also find me on Facebook and on Instagram. And like my videos and share my videos with all your loved ones. And don't forget to send me your messages and your feedback about how you tried out my recipes and how much you liked them and how much your family loved them. Have a great day ahead.